Hello, welcome back everyone. So I is speaking with CSEC now here and my name is Neil. I'll be going through this CSEC English uh, 2024 January past paper one. Without do further said, um, as a appreciation, I hope you guys do drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't do so. And please share the video with your friends. So just to make in your grade one become a reality, all right? So without do further said, I'm going to go through these questions real fast and I'll be explaining further on, all right? Good. Number one, here it says each sentence has one word missing. Choose the word which best completes the meaning of the sentence. Mark your choice on the answer sheet. So number one here, we're going to choose the word which best completes the sentence, all right? So he has been staunch for better health care systems for the poor. And these words, critics, would have meaning life, for example. Um, it's have been a bad way in which someone would try to criticize um, the healthcare system and such. And disadvantage way I could mention. For suspects, it would have been for someone trying to intrude, um, to persuade, to see um, someone to have stand out but for advocate now would have been someone who um, support a particular um, like events I could mention um, here so the best word we could use here to complete the sentence would have been advocate alright so the answer would have been C alright num number two it says ready to wear garments are in great numbers of the rocks in store all right and um, here miss sorted in great numbers uh doesn't make sense situated in great numbers uh not really because for someone to situate something it would have been to put in a life for example um in a different places or position all right, and original would have meant sim simple meaning to have the the own itself standing. So for original, to ready to wear um, garments are original in great numbers doesn't make sense. So the best um, suitable answer here would be available. So ready to wear garments are available in great numbers of the racks in stores. All right, so the answer would have been D for number two. We're just moving along. Let's go. Number three. It says the students of the different year groups said they the title of most loved teacher on Mr. Rogers. Alright, so we'll see on this here. So for example, elected um is basically someone um to hold um, either an office or position by voting and it's not any voting here it's just a, um, the different here um, group students said the title of the most love so let me look on conferred um, if we're going to choose conferred now um, let me see here conferred would have been like a title or a degree or a right for example so here it says the title of the most love so the most best answer here would have been conferred because they are mentioning about the title as a student said here um, the most loved teacher on mr. Rogers so they basically referring to, as to as a title on the teacher so the answer would have been B for number three all right we're moving along um, number four it says they were told not to um, and if you're going to use hinder, hinder is when um, basically a person um, try to bar engage to make it difficult um, for something to happen. And if you're going to launch, launch is to put out like a astonish um, event, for example, for if you're starting a business, you want to um, launch like a supportive meeting. Um, 
doesn't make sense and to weaken the cost of the repair in the building doesn't make sense so the answer would have been D disclosed so they were told not to disclose the cost of the repair in the building um, made much sense good all right number five here it says there are many who try to um, your efforts because of their jealousy all right so to assist someone mm, to assist your effort doesn't make sense to affect mm, not not really make sense either way uh, let me see here all right thought all right so to toward toward your effort because of your jealousy um, Toward is to prevent someone from un from basically accomplish accomplishing something. So there are many who try to. Oh, yeah. So the best answer here would have been toward. And toward is when someone tries their best to prevent you from accomplishing your goals, or it doesn't matter something. And once they mention about jealousy, it would have been someone try to prevent you. Uh, so the answer would be toward. So they. There are many who try to thwart your energy um, because of their jealousy. So the answer would have been C here. All right. Number six and moving on fast. Let's go. All right. So this is some of the following sentences are unacceptable because they contain errors. No sentence contain, uh, contains more than one error. Some of the sentences are acceptable as they stand on the sheet. On the answer sheet, one, choose one options that best describe each sentence as follows. Alright, so let's go on number six here, see how best it's going on. So, if there were um, basically the sentences too wordy or it, that is a repetitive or contain redundancies, then we're going to choose A. If it's either contain cliche or misuse metaphor, uh, we'd have choose B, then if the sentence is automatically um incorrectly grammatical or faulty in diction would have choose c and if the sentence is acceptable as it stands then we would choose d all right so number six here it says they were told to collaborate together to produce the project and the whole um uh main of this here is to look to see that the sentence would have been produced the project so um it's more likely it's too um contain redundancies to be honest um that's the error i'm seeing here so i would choose a if you guys have any different answer you want me to elaborate on it just comment on the comment section all right um seven it says in some traditional wedding ceremonies money is thrown at the bride and groom uh, let me see what we have here for number seven. Um, it's I'm not seeing any uh, difference in correct grammatical or fault in diction. So I'm seeing that the sentence is very. It's it doesn't have any worry either way or any cliche. So it's very acceptable as it stands. Uh, so I will go with D for this one. All right. Go with D for this one. Good. All right, number eight. It says, disgust with the situation. He decided to jump into the saddle and put his foot. And for number eight here, I'm seeing where we had a misused metaphor. And the misused metaphor would have been he decided to jump into the saddle and put his foot. That is a misused metaphor. Um, so we choose B for number eight. All right. B for number eight. Good. All right, moving along. All right, number nine. It says each of the children have an appointment with the principal. Uh, I'm not seeing where we would have. Uh, let me see. Let me see here. Mm, each of the student. Well, not each of the student, but each of the children. Each more than one. Children's children. Ah, uh, I think we had a, let me see here, not an incorrect grammatical, but we have a faulty diction here. So we'll go with C for number nine. All right. Good. All right, number 10. 
He says he had Vance a step or two to meet his attacker who suddenly became alarmed and re I reached three back four or five paces. Um, most of this here, it's too wordy as well. One or four or two, five paces, retreat back, step or two, doesn't make sense. So this is too wordy. Alright, so the answer would have been A for 10. Good. Alright, moving along. Let's go. Um, here it says, instruction. Some of the following sentences are unacceptable because of inappropriate grammar, idioms, or vocabulary. Some sentences are acceptable as they stand. No sentence contain more than one inappropriate element. Select one underlined part that is inappropriate and choose the corresponding letter. A, B, C, if the sentence is acceptable as it stands, choose D. Alright, number 11. So it says the doctor's attempts to restitute the, the patient were futile. Um, well, I'm not really seeing any error here, so I will go with um, D. No error. I'm not really seeing any error here, to be honest. So we'll go with D. Alright, number 12. It says, if Antonio's attitude change, um, there will be a vast improvement in his performance. Alright, so we had some, you know, vocabulary word is not... Um, spell correctly. This should be T H E R E. Sorry, oh my, I'm so sorry about that. So it's T H E R E. It's not there. All right. So we have a error right here. All right. Number thirteen. It says one of the admirable characteristics of the young is that they are not easily scared. And for number 13, we are not um, seeing any error here, so I'd have to choose the uh, number 14. Since too many, uh, I already gave away the answer here. It shouldn't have not been, well, let me just go ahead. Since too much passenger were in the taxi, the policeman issued a ticket to the driver. So the answer should have been um, not much. It should be many, right? So here... It should mean since too many passengers were in the taxi. So much passengers not make sense. So it should be many. Alright. Good. Number 15. It says as John listened to the lesson being taught, he began to lose interest. And here it's not loose. Um loose um and lose and lose is the two different opposite of each word. Um when you lose something you would have basically um, had to do has different meaning alright alright so you'd have loose different stuff so here um, for example when you lose when you lose um, had to do with different stuff. All right, so the answer should have been not lose. Um, it should, this should be L O S E lose. All right. All right. Each sentence in this section has one underlying word. Choose. From the four suggested answer, the word which is closest to the opposite, it meaning to the underlying word. Just a moment.
All right. So sorry about that. So we're gonna rephrase this here. So we're gonna choose a word which is the opposite. All right. So it says she paid meticulous attention to her work as she attacked the beads to costume. All right. So the word which is opposite in meaning here meticulous uh, meticulous would have been for scant all right number 17 it says they lived in a large sprawling modern house in a very remote area of the parish all right so here in the opposite of remote would have been um not well kept but built up all right um number 18 it says James has a hatred for a thing that's crawl. And uh, opposite of hatred would have been not respect, not dislike, not fear. It would have been fondness. Alright. Number 19 here. It says the views expressed by Mr. Jones were inconsistent with those that of the committee. Alright. So here with inconsistent mm, would have been the opposite of compatible. So we have to choose compatible for this one. Number 20. It says the airline conveyed a new flight information to the passengers. Um here um convey mm, not misplaced, not transmitted, not analyzed, it would have been withheld. Alright? Mm, good. All right. Good. All right. Number twenty-one. It says revise each of the following sentence according to the directions that it follows. Do not change the meaning of the original sentence. Look at the options A to D for the word or phrase that best suits the revised sentence. Mark your choice on the answer sheet. Twenty-one. So this is where I saw two men jogging around savannah as they proved to be olympic track star so we're gonna begin the sentence with so all right let me see the two men um so we're gonna say that the two men i saw that the two men jogging around the savannah so we're gonna go with that <laughs> good 22 the cricket match ended abruptly when many spectators stormed the field begin the sentence with many of the spectators stormed um so it's so many of the spectators stormed not getting not preventing so the answer would be so so we're gonna move along with the other questions so number 23 good it says during my time at school I was involved in ex extracurricular activities and it says sorry while either on staying or while I was or for my stay or when staying so we're gonna choose the sentence here and start off with on staying on staying, I was involved. That doesn't make sense. While I was involved in, or for my stay, I was, or when staying, I was, um, while I was. So the, the best suitable here would have been while I was. All right. Number twenty-four. It says we visit the zoo and then we went to see the display at the museum, of the city. So we're gonna begin the sentence with we went to see the display. So it's either after we went to see the display or since we went to see the display or while we went to see the display or before. This would have been after though. After we went or since we went. Mm, after we went. No, 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 no. Would have not been after. After sound a little bit close but not there. But since we went. So the answer would have been since, not after. So uh, be here for number 24. Number 25. It says I enjoy 
having a room of my own and I try hard to take care of it let me see here but I try or since I try or unless or although mm, let me see here number 25 oh my I think wait I think this since oh I'm so sorry I'm so sorry guys um this one here uh it's incorrect so so the answer sorry about this everyone the answer would have been a all right a for this one the answer would have been a not so the right answer would be after i'm so sorry about that uh, it says number 25 is i've been driving a room of my own and i try hard to take care of it um but i try to no um since i try hard or unless i try hard or although i try hard it would have been since i try hard to take care of it so the answer would be b for number 25 i'm so sorry about that let's go along all right so forgive my guilt i won't read i won't read i won't read this though i will just have it on a little zoomed out view for everyone to see uh, well, you can just pause the video and watch it and this go along and read and uh, I'll just move straight to the answers all right so we're just gonna move along everyone you can just pause the video um, when you're reading this poem and we move along right now all right all right so number 26 here it says the title of the poem forgive my guilt what does it suggest and forgive my guilt what does that mean i want you to forgive my guilt i'm so worried i could i even say we are just not denying our guilt but we're not providing any guilt we're not suppressing we are just admitting that you did something so forgive my guilt is admitting all right so admitting is guilt number 27 the phrase the air ran blue as the flowers line five is an example of hmm air and blue um that more that more sound like a uh, metaphor all right so the answer would be b for number 27 and we almost there let's go Number 28, it says the tone of the poem changes from one factual recollection of one emotional response. At which of the following lines does the passage occur? Alright, so which of the, um, the lines does the passage occur? Um, the passage occur um, basically in line, I would say, line 11. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and just go ahead and go over the passage real fast. All right, so for number 28, it would have been C. And let me show you. Let's go back to the passage real fast and just show you what I'm talking about. Um, here, line 11 would have been, they cried like two sorrowful um, high flutes. So this would have been where um, the factual recollections um, changes. All right. Um, good. Number 29, it says, what if effects... What effects does the change of tone from factual recollection to emotional response produce? Uh, for number 29, would have produced some contrast in mood. Because they are trying to contrast, you know, bringing forth from one highlight to another. So it would have been contrast in mood. Alright, number 30. We're so close. Alright, the following word in the poem all shares the same connect. Con Connotation, sorry. Sorrowful, crying, broken. Which of the following phrases in the poem has a similar connotation to these words? Um, it would mean most like their heads high in line 10. Oh, jug ivory bones in line 12. Mm, what that head and are two hairy things. Well, it would be mostly like to have um, jug ivory bones. And that would have been in line 12, as we could see. Alright. 
Number 31, it says all of the following phrases in the poem describe a physical characteristics of two birds, except, mm, you would have except that, uh, let me see here, slim as a dream, thing, no run, like quicksilver, slender, flutes of sorrow. This was in what, line, this was like in what, line 20, yeah, slender, flutes of sorrow. So the answer would be C for 31. Mm-hmm. Let's go along. Number 32. Good. The writer uses the phrase decline, de oh, so not, not decline, but deny the here. That would have been in line 21, and it suggests that the birds, they couldn't fly, basically. They were unable to fly. All right. So the answer would be C for number 32. And you could read the passage as well and just to match up as to the questions that I've been showing here and the answer as well to make sure um, they are very correctly. So I'm just providing the correct information to you. Or right, well, you could just read the passages just to have a more understanding of what's going on. Good. Number 33. Which of the following mood is suggested in line 11 to 12? Um, line 11 to 12 were suggested that it was not critical basically um let me see here it was not indifferent and uh, sympathetic or it was light hearted it was mostly like i would use sympathetic all right all right number 34 the main theme of the poem is ah the remorse of a conscience or death of two birds or forgiveness for her sins or she committed she committed uh, since committed, sorry, and the answer for number 34 would have been a remorse. You know, we're just trying to show their conscience to show that they, you know, they had some guilt they want to, you know, admit, and it's just to show in a remorse of their conscience. You know, number 35, which of the following senses does the poem most appeal? All right, so we're we're gonna um, basically we receive sorrowfuls of flutes and sorrowfuls of flutes sorrows, where we could um, mostly. Uh, are we just gonna go back in the sentence here? So here it says I have heard. So this is hearing, right? So we we have heard. All right. So that would have been hearing. Uh, let me see. Go. Let's go up to a little bit more. And uh, here, we're just gonna contrast here. All right. Um, they had head on high, float of the sea. Um, just a moment. Here, and quick like a six silver. So what I've been hearing. This is a hearing again. Floor with a gun. Um. Just a moment. Crying out. You're kind in blue. Cry sender too. I but I still hear them. Alright. Sender food never is too eerie. Or what you know, hear. Never knew they live with a split. They have here all while. Here and beautiful. So we basic we basically seen some sight and hear it. So the answer would be that C sight and hearing good um this one oh all right the sisters so this is a implied um passage we need to read um state is what is basically implied uh let's go ahead so this is a sisters let me just zoom out a little bit more all right so you could pause the video everyone and read the passage all right good so we're going to move along all right all right so number 36 this is the first two sentences of the passage suggest that the relationship between the sister was all right, so the first, let me just go on the first line here. The first line would be in over the years. Marta has sent. So Marta is one sister, right? Has sent many warms and friendly messages. Elena. So Elena is another sister. So the two sisters would have been Marta 
and Ilana, all right? Inviting our visit to Hora. Is this Hora or Laura? Oh, or Laura. Yes, yeah, so Laura and assuring her that she she did always be welcome. But her prodigal sister never replied. Oh, prodigal, oh my. So that song like right they're being strained. Alright, so you could use this answer here. Strained, alright? Good. Uh, number 37. Their marriage was stormy one. Line 4 and 5 implied um, it was unpleasant, uh, not necessarily, it was fought with difficulty, or they got married on a stormy day, or they didn't um, always see eye to eye. Uh, let me just go on um, line 4, 4, 5, quick, real fast. Alright, line 4, here, it says, Laikwa, Laikwa had um, succeeded his father, ruler of the kingdom, Morris, and the marriage stormy one. Uh, was a stormy one. That's simple meaning they didn't marry on a stormy day. Um, they didn't always see an eye to eye. They, it wasn't unpleasant, but it was fought um, with difficulties. All right, um, good. Number thirty-eight here. It says the instruction go to the end of the earth. In line twelve implies that they should search. They should search every accessible land. All right. Number 39, this is a literary device using a um, phrase as delicate as a spider web. Hmm. As delicate as a spider web would have been a metaphor, not really a metaphor, because um, it says as delicate. We are not trying to bring out, it would have been a simile, um, not a metaphor. Alright, number 40, it says the writer implies that Leah um, was, um, let me see here. Leah would have not been. Let me see. My oh God, let's, let's go back here. The kingdom. Hold up, just a moment. Leah was see, here. So the queen immediately summoned Leah and was ordered to send her to the parties of countries bordering the kingdom of wild horses. So Leah was not a midwife either. Um, was not a household servant, I would say, and is not Martha's sister. And Leah is not a traveler. Aliyah would be a leader of the Queen Army. Alright? Good. 41. Which of the following is an example of contrast? Uh, let me see. She had um, lost both her beauty and her mind. No, that doesn't make sense. She vanished without a trace. Mm, still don't make sense. Her hair was streaked with grey. Um, no. Lighting up her, f lighting up her dark face. This makes sense. 41 would have been D. Good. Alright. 42. Let's go ahead. It says the cloud of white hair is an example of. And for number 42 would have been cloud. Once we use in another aspect to, you know, draw out another aspect, that would be a metaphor. Alright. Number 43. The styles of writing in this extra can best describe as uh, it's not really factual and it's not really descriptive. Ah, uh, it's more likely a narrative writing and it's not really argumentative. It's most like a narrative. Uh -huh. If you have any different answer in the comment section, please feel free to leave it in the comment section so I could review it. All right. Um, the word that is closest in meaning to turbulence. Ah, turbulent. In line 27. Let me just go in line 27 real fast. 25, 26, 27. Alright, so here is line 27. Good. So it says over mountain, over mountain and down turbulent river. Over mountain. Mm, that sounds a little bit rough to be honest. Some difficulty. So difficulties, let me see if any difficult word here. Oh, we have rough, we have placid, we have demanding. So the answer would be um rough. But if you have seen difficult, then we'd have choose difficult. Because turbulent and rough or difficult would have been the same. Um would be very similar as well. Alright. Um this is another one as well. Why create further divisions? Alright, so as I mentioned, I won't be reading this, I will just have it on the screen 
you could pause the video and watch it and I will just go straight through the answer. Eh? Alright, good. We're just moving along. Alright. Uh, so this is according to the Financial Times UK. Which of the following statement is true? Um, is it there are only 60 single sex school um, at present? Uh, not necessarily. But it would have been uh, more likely they had been increasing the numbers of single sex school not really as well um, but it would have been they are trying what they're trying to implement on this here why I've created for the divisions yeah, what they're trying to imply is to show that many states and private single sex schools has been converted to coed all right so the answer would have been D for this one and it's very clear in this um, um, extract passage here as we could see um, good so 46 it says which of the following words may best describe not really best describe but best use to replace um, influence in line 6 um, so as line 6 here we could see um, it was um, appeared to country has been greatest influence on our occasion what is the best to influence someone and it's not result impact attitude or reference or the best one would have been impact here impact is um, the best um, to replace the word influence all right number 47 which group is is the writer most concerned about um they are not i'm concerned about graduates from school system mostly um they are mostly concerned about uh, we see men who suffer um, physical uh, distress or those who have siblings are only siblings from the same gender. Alright, if we look into here real fast, and it's mostly here education, families, and crime express. And that is just a quotation here. Let me see. Um, benefit of education in single sex school, performance, academical performance of the end exam. Um, it's here. We see it. So it says we must assess the impact of graduates of our society and eat a life and prevail in our society. And this simple meaning they are trying to bring out um, the graduates from our school system. Alright, so that would be for 47 would have been B. Alright, any other question? Leave it in the comment section. Alright, 48. What is the speaker attempting to do in the passage? Um, Warn the student about the same danger of the single sex schools are they supporting the decision of the implement um, the single sex schools are they criticize those who in favor of single sex schools are they argue um, for physical electrical well-being over academic performance and for number 48 we have seen that they are argued about the um, the psychology the psychological um, well-being over um, um, academics performance all right number 49 the main purpose of the title why create for revision is to um is it to arouse the curiosity of readers or to ask very important questions or to state a point of view or it is to state a facts and basically i'm seeing why create it's a basically like uh not to ask an important question but it's just to arouse the curiosity um of readers so the answer would be a for number 49 all right moving along this is another one the music is too loud i can't study good um good pause the video guys and i'll just move along shortly we're almost there all right, thank you. Let's go. Uh, moving along. All right, so 50. He says, I just can't take it anymore. In line one, he implements that the, right, the writer is not arguing, not crying, hurting, shouting. I can't take it no more. What is that? They are hurting, right? The writer is hurting. So the answer would be C. 51. Which of the following device does the writer use in paragraph 2 to explain her plight? 
um paragraph 2 51 51 let me see here let me go back under here paragraph 1 ah da, 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 da. let me see here take it i just can't take it more just force by return to look it on the street mm. uh, we basically had here um go back a little bit more in 51 without basically add a rhetorical question all right it's basically a rhetorical question 52 it says the following sentence i work hard and every report so far indicates that i am above average student line five what does this suggest though it suggests that the writer is boasting R is pleading, or you want to sustain this, or is about to fail your exams. So let me just work this out real fast. I work hard, right? And every report so far indicates that I am an average student. Average. Oh, so the writer, what they're trying to in invade here is that they want to sustain, right? They want to sustain because they work very hard and they just want to sustain. So the answer would have been C. They want to sustain this. Um, number 53 says, what effects does the writer achieve when she says, can you imagine my mother, her 16 years old daughter going to this place in the midst of the rhetorious drinking, line 19 to 20. What does it do? Is it they are trying to criticize their action as going to a bar or scorn the women's behavior going to a bar or admiration from the reader? for the woman's courage or shock from the reader that the woman go there and this would be the admiration from the reader um, for the woman's courage all right number 54 he says this kind of writing best classified as and uh, it will be classified as most like emotive writing uh where would have the motive um having most you know um different types of not contrast what different types of evades to explain what's going on how person feels you know based on all of this passage here so it's most like a emotive um here we're almost through we're just gonna go to number 55 so here we're just gonna read this real fast key fix both clean there it can be absorbed much 50 percent of light Turn off the lights when leaving the room. Even if it's only a few minutes, it's just a myth that it takes more energy to turn a light on than to leave it on. Use motion sensors for outdoor lights. They are good security measures that it doesn't waste energy. Use lovers wattage bulbs. Your lights may be brighter than you need. Purchase lamps with dimmer switches as can lower the settings when less light is required. Place floor or table lamps in a corner. This allows light to reflect from walls, making the rooms brighter without turning one or more lights. Use fluorescent lights instead of incandescent lights. Compact fluorescent lights use up to 75% less energy than incandescent lights. Right? For the same amount of lights. And last up to 10 times longer so the main purpose of the ad the advertisement here um, would have been to let me see not promote light in the house not to sell bulbs not to highlight the energy use in homes um, but would most likely to encourage a better um, energy use all right so as we see number 56 as we move along here um, it says how much energy um, does fluorescent lights use? I know that I've been um, up to, let me see, 75 percentage less than incandescent lights. So the answer would be A456. Remember it mentioned here, and I can show you it's 75 percent here. Let me go back. 75, right here, 75 percent. Yes. All right. Good. Um, 57. It says the advertisement emphasis is that motion sensors are important and it's not because they are cheap and they waste energy indoor, but they do not conserve energy. But they are mostly efficient and provide security. 
So the answer would be D. All right, number 58, which of the following not stated in the advertisement? Um, lamps placed on floor are better used. They didn't mention anything about lamps, but they mentioned about low wattage, which use less energy, not um, light bulbs are energy efficient, compact floor incense lights are um, energy efficient. They mentioned mostly about the compact, so the best answer would have been lamps here, because they didn't mention anything about lamps. I'm not seeing where any lamps was mentioned, let me see. No, no lamps. All right. Good. Number 59. Is this information in the advertisement would be most useful to? Are you most useful for any um, housewives? You know, it's not any a contractor, not any electricians or so forth. Number 60, last and final one. I could say the final one for this video. All right. So the literary device is used in line 7 of the advertisement is uh line seven for number 60 would have been not the comparison showing the similarities between the abilities of fluorescent lights and incandescent lights to save energy but it's mostly um to contrast the showing the diff difference between the ability of the fluorescent lights and incandescent lights to save energy emphasis is um highlightments abilities um of the fluorescent lights and incandescent lights to store energy or imagine allowing the reader to see ability of fluorescent light and incandescent light to store energy. None of this one. All right. So the answer would either compare between A and B, and it would be the comparison showing the similarity between ability of fluorescent light and incandescent light to save energy. But the mainly one here I would go with would be contrast. Contrast showing the difference between the ability. So the answer for number sixty would have been D. And I wanted to say thank everyone for reaching to the end of the video. And if you reach to the end of the video, I need you to type kudos. Alright? And thank everyone for watching. And thank you for making with CSET now. Make sure you do drop a like and subscribe and share the video. You do have yourself a great one. And making your great one become a reality. Kudos.